Hey my loves, it's Love Bird here. And today is Wednesday. This is Love Bird Wellness Day. We are going to focus on our health and wellness. And in the previous video, we previously discussed that we were going to talk about the food that we eat. We're going to talk about our diet and how to improve our diet and how that will improve our health. We start with the basics, y'all. We start from ground zero. What are you putting in your body? So I have a couple questions for you and I want these questions to push you to think and really answer honestly. That's the only way this thing is going to work. I know I had to answer honestly. So we need to answer honestly and see what are we really putting into our body. So my first question, I guess it's a question and a half, is are you eating fatty foods? Are you eating sugary foods? Are those the things that you crave the most? Is that the most that you're taking in? Are you trading healthier options for the fatty sugary salty good stuff you know what i'm saying so just think about that what is your favorite food and what is that food that you really crave and that you really want like all of the time is it good for you or is it bad for you is it helping promote your health and wellness or is it holding you back these are the questions that we have to ask ourselves honestly if we want to see improvement in our diet. I know me, my struggle is I don't eat as often as I should. I get busy with the kids and it's crazy y'all. I will feed my kids three times a day, snacks in between and I'll just leave myself out there to fend for myself. While I'm preparing their food, I'm not preparing my food. I don't know why I do that. I don't know, maybe it saves time. Who knows? But that is something that I know I have to work on. So how many times a day are you eating? Are you eating your three meals with your two snacks in between? Or are you eating two bigger meals and, you know, snacking throughout the day? Or are you just eating one big meal at the end of the day because you forgot or you got so busy because things happen? So I want to encourage you to answer those questions honestly. And I have four quick tips on how to improve our diet. We're going to start with fruit, fruits and vegetables. Now, the USDA recommends that half of our plate, when we fix our plate, half of our plate should be fruits or vegetables. So that should be pretty much most of our dinner or our meal at that time should be fruits and vegetables. And we need to make sure that we are eating a variety of those fruits and vegetables. Make sure you add more color to your plate. If your plate is brown and white all the time, add some greens in there, add some, some red, some tomatoes, add some purple radishes, anything. Adding color adds nutrients and you can get a variety of nutrients that way. Um, the next point I want to make is for whole grains. We need to focus on our whole grains. And it's funny, y'all, because I thought I was doing something by buying like honey wheat bread. I'm like, it's still a little sweet, but it's wheat. So that's that should be okay. But comes to find out, we need whole grain breads and brown rice, oatmeal, even popcorn. And I'm not talking about the heavily salted extra butter popcorn. I'm talking about the lightly salted popcorn you know with low salt and uh low cap lower calories we need we can even snack on that for a, a good snack so make sure that we are getting all of our whole grains and the last point i want to make is focus on the quality of proteins that you are consuming now proteins some people prefer not to eat meat and that's great but i know i still love meat so in my house, we focus on eating leaner meats, chicken, fish, turkey. Those are the primary meats that we eat in our house. Uh, we do beef sometimes as well. My husband loves steak, um, but we have cut out pork because it is very little to no nutrients. It's adding to all of the risks that goes with unhealthy eating. And the reason why we want to eat healthy is because... We want our bodies to be operating like a well-oiled machine. We want to have high energy levels. We want to be able to handle what life throws at us. 
even in our physical bodies. We want to make sure our physical health is intact. And if you don't believe me, uh, Daniel 1, 12 through 15, verses 12 through 15, pretty much gives you a biblical example of why your health is important, of why your health is a major factor in your purpose for life. That's all I got for y'all on health and wellness. I will be posting links to the information that I uh, put in this video. I did cite my sources, y'all. I, I want to make sure that we are getting the right information. So if you have any suggestions on topics, anything that you are concerned about, anything you have questions about, you guys, I am here for you. We want to take this health and wellness journey together. So like, comment, share your experiences as I will share mine. We are going to push each other to be the best we can be in this area. So happy Wednesday, y'all. Love Bird Wellness Day. I love you. And don't forget to spread the love.